So I'm still excited about getting uh, this Artifix panel, the Alcott panel, with my name laser engraved on it. I can't think of a cooler feature to have on a panel. Um, it just makes it really special. And I wanted to talk about why I like Artifex's panels so much, because I've used a lot of panels over the years. I actually started with canvases and used those for a number of years, but what was frustrating to me is how they would sag. And I use a lot of, of a variety of techniques in my work. I work in acrylic and I'm very passionate about the acrylic medium. And I love to have different mark making, mark making techniques, which means that I am sanding on the canvases sometimes, I'm using scratching tools, I'm uh, dropping paint splatters on, all kinds of things. And I found that a canvas was not durable enough to do that because it would sag with the pressure that I needed to apply. With the Artifix panels, I don't have to worry about it sagging. It's got this fantastic aluminum backing and it lets me do all kinds of techniques with my acrylic painting. This particular one is, um, again, it's the Alcott panel, which is a cotton polyester blend. And I've used not only the liquid acrylics, the acrylic inks, but I've also used heavy body acrylic. I've used a little bit of uh, graphite crayon on this particular piece and several other different effects. And these panels just hold up beautifully. And it doesn't matter whether you do a thin layer of paint or you end up with numerous layers of paint, which I've been known to do. It holds it and it supports it beautifully. This particular one is done on another of their uh, Alcott panels. And what I love about this is I could get uh, so many transparency, a lot of transparent passages, but also areas where the paint has been applied heavier passages of paint. I can do line work on this. I can use uh, very large brushes to, to create uh, nuances of, of color layering. Um, another thing I like to do with when I'm painting a piece, I start off very loosely. And as the piece progresses, it gets tighter. It's more like a photo that's out of focus. And then it gets clearer and clearer and clearer. So the whole idea is that every stroke of paint I lay down makes the painting stronger and it makes the drawing stronger, fine tuning. And these panels just allow me to do that in a beautiful way. I can even go back and sand passages if I want to. This particular painting has several passages I've sanded. Um, I also did a lot with the acrylic inks doing washes on it. And it just is a surface that's going to hold up to anything, any technique that I decide to do with it. As an artist, I'm showcasing my work not only in galleries, but also in my studio and at different events. And I need my frames to work extra hard, which means that sometimes I've got to be able to take a painting off of the frame. Let's see how well this one comes off. I put Velcro on the back. And one of the great things about these panels, I don't have to worry about this Velcro harming the integrity of my painting. I can easily remove it. It's not, some of the, the panels, the back of them are cardboard. It's very hard to remove this Velcro if it's a cardboard back. There's always the chance that I am going to damage the back of the painting and I don't want that. I want my paintings to be in pristine condition, especially when my collectors get them. And this is just a great way to be able to frame a painting, put it in this frame. It can stay in this frame with a Velcro. The Velcro is super duty, so I can leave it like this for a number of years, or if it needs to be taken out because a collector's purchased it, it can easily be removed. And that's just another reason why I love these panels having that, that aluminum backing, not only for the longevity of what I'm painting, but also because it allows me the freedom to move paintings from one frame to another. This larger piece down here is done on their all-in panel, which is uh, the linen, extra fine linen. And it's funny because I, I love both of them. I love the linen, I love the all-cot, 
And I find when I start on the all cut, I can't think of working on any other surface. But then when I go to the linen, I fall in love with that all over again too. So it, it just depends. I can get different effects with both of these surfaces. And this one, um, it, the funny thing about this painting is halfway through it was horrible, absolutely horrible. And I had to wash it down and do a little bit of sanding. And I knew I could do that because I knew that the, the back, and not only the back, but um, their, the uh, canvas that's applied to the front and the primer that they use was going to hold up to my washing the acrylic paint off and to sanding it. And so I was able to take this piece and revive it because of the panel allowing it, it, because the panel's so durable and it allowed me to do that. And it's funny how uh, sometimes as an artist, you don't want to let go of all those hours that you put into a piece, even if it's a small piece. And it was hard to take it and, and sand it down. But on the other hand, it was so much more rewarding to see the painting come back stronger, to see all the different nuances I could do with, with the different mark making and, and passages, passages of paint and not feel that the painting wasn't what I had wanted it to be. I would much rather sand down a painting or you know, paint over the top of it and get something that I'm pleased with. It, I feel like for an artist's soul, that just kind of, it's like taking the air out of your balloon. It doesn't do well to have your failure sitting around staring you in the face. So I've always got to have paintings that I feel good about and that were a success. And it's okay to start a painting and not have it work. I learn from that and the paintings always come out stronger. So it's really not a failure. It actually is a wonderful learning experience and it, it lets you move forward and create something that's stronger. This is um, a, 6 by 12 that they did for me and it is a work in progress um, I don't know if you can tell yet but it's going to be a self-portrait it's me on a, a trip to Paris that I have always wanted to paint and had never had the chance and I've just decided I'm, I'm going to do it uh, which I usually don't do self-portraits either but I'm excited to do this one and I can see that it's coming together and I'm thrilled to kind of see how it ends up uh, and I I hope I'm not repeating myself, but I just have to say again, these, the, I don't even have to gesso the panels when they arrive. I love the texture that's already on them. I love the, the smoothness and uh, the way that the surface accepts my paint when I lay it down. It is just, it, it's fantastic. Um, working with acrylic because it dries so quickly, I have to be very aware of my edges, and I can do that with these panels. I can create very hard edges when I want them. Um, I can create lost edges, very wonderful passages where one just shimmers right into the other one. And being able to have those lost and found edges makes my work stronger. Um, so no matter what I'm working on, I find that I'm, I'm always reaching for one of mine artifacts panels and um, I'll just wrap this up with a, a story that impressed me and that was when I first met Anton it was at a portrait society conference and he was in the the room with all the you know the exhibitors and, the, and all their art supplies uh, and it was just in passing I saw it was a new product he gave me some samples didn't have a whole lot of time to talk to him and I'm sure he saw hundreds and hundreds of people, not only at that conference, but at later conferences. But one year later, when I met him at uh, the following Portrait Society conference, he remembered who I was. And that impressed me so much that out of all the artists he had visited with, that he would remember me and remember my name and remember what we had talked about with, with the medium I worked in acrylic and surfaces I was interested in. And so not only was I determined to, to buy his uh, panels and try them out, but I was also impressed that as a businessman, I, I think he's spot on and I think this is a great company and I want to support him because just like myself, they're running a small business.